Hi everybody, this is Juliana and I'm really excited to share with you my latest project for Y Orca Crafts. Um, I'm very excited about this one because this is this one is um, something different that I've never done before. And but I have a couple of these jars in my craft studio and they're all filled with like butterflies and buttons and flowers and things like that and um, I've been wanting to alter one of these for a while so this is a pretty pretty large um, glass jar as you can see there so I wanted to make a very shabby chick altar jar um, using the wild orchid craft flowers and trims so um, this is what it looked like you know before and then um, this is what I just did using the Wild Orchid Craft Projects. So it's a really big change. So let me just move this here and share with you guys a little bit about what I did. I'm going to put the codes of the flowers um, that I used below on the description for you. But um, so this is the glass jar and you can't really see the glass anymore. But um, what I did is I used the new Prima paper, uh, the Pixie Glen paper stash by Prima. It's this really gorgeous paper, you guys. It's super, super shabby chic and um, it matches my craft studio perfectly. So I grabbed one of the sheets and then I cut it in half to, um, to fill and cover the glass jar with the paper. So this one has the little umbrella here and it has this really gorgeous sentiment that says, um, let me see if you could see here, whose, um, whose gestures look backward with a smile. It's like super, super cute. And then over here, I added the rest of the paper. So there's like the clock and stuff there too. Okay, and so here's the yard. And um, I used a bunch of the Wild Orchid Craft roses. So over here in the meadow, I cut this out from the paper collection and I put the, the quote dream. And then in here, I added some of the Wild Orchid Craft, craft roses, um, the little tiny cherry blossoms, and then this new um, really gorgeous roses that I recently got on my design, design team package. And they look like this, you guys. They're really, really beautiful. And then um, well, I'll put the codes below for you. And then I also used this one in pink. That is super pretty as well. Um, and then I put some down here below another, um, with another cherry blossom. So I really love it. I think these colors really match really well the paper collection. So it's a really great choice. And I'll put the codes um, underneath. And then I did the same thing here, except that I added a wild rose here, and then more of the cherry blossoms in the roses I just showed you. And I added some trim here below on the bottom, and right here on the middle, sorry about that you guys, I used some of my vintage wedding trim from my latest dress that I bought at the thrift store. I made a handmade flower. And then I added a cherry blossom in the middle. And then I also created a stick pin. And this stick pin is used in the White Orchid Craft um, stick pins. And they look like this. Super beautiful, you guys. They're really long, quite large. So you can put a lot of like really thick or big, you know, um, beads in there. And then over here on the side, I used that organza trim from White Orchid Crafts super gorgeous. Um, I cover it all the way around the glass jar as you can see there too. It's just really super cute and shabby chic. And then for the top part, for the cap, it opens up like this. So opens up like this. And then I made this flower using the gorgeous fabric from my vintage wedding dress. And look at how beautiful, you guys. I'm super excited to share with you some of my flowers. I love it. And then I just added a pearl in there. And I added some trim here in like light pink, which is super beautiful. And then inside the yard, there's just a bunch of like vintage buttons that I have. So it closes up like this. 
and it looks super cute so i think it's such a great idea um i know many of you like to alter um glass jars and it looks really pretty so this one will be sitting in my craft studio and i can't wait to alter more of them i hope you guys like it please let me know if you have any questions at all and please be sure to check out Why Orca Crafts and I will put the link below for some of these gorgeous organza trims and flowers. So thank you so much everybody for watching and I will see you soon.